Okay, this time I'm going to show you how to create the Slack media type. That's Slack down here. We can go into that. It's a webhook type. There are a lot of parameters which are used in this Slack hook. But the Slack hook is pretty impressive. So we just do this. So what we need to do is get a bot token. Now this is quite a big process if you don't have one of these. So what you'll need to do is go and visit slack.com and either launch Slack or create a new workspace. I've already created a workspace. That's sbcode.net there. If you're working for a company, there's a good chance you have a Slack workspace already set up. Okay, so I'm now logged into my Slack workspace here, sbcode.net. We'll need to create two extra things in it, a channel and an app. I'm going to create a channel first. Create channel. I'm just going to call it Zabbix. Now make private. If it's not private, then anybody in your workspace up there can join and read the messages. Otherwise, if you wanted to make it invite only, just make it private. Doesn't matter for me. Okay, create. Add people. Skip for now. My account is already added to the Zabbix channel. Okay, so we're inside the Zabbix channel now. Members, me. Okay, now we need to create an app. Okay, so press plus up here says app directory. Click that. Okay, we now need to press build and then start building here. Okay, create a Slack app. Zabbix alerts. Okay, development Slack workspace is sbcode.net for me. Okay, create app. We now need a bot. So go down to bots here. We now need to assign a scope to our bot token. Scroll down. Add an O auth scope. Chat right. Okay, once you've done that, you can now install the app to the workspace. Zabbix Alerts is requesting permission to access your workspace. It will be able to perform actions in channels and conversations, which is send messages as Zabbix Alerts. Allow. Excellent. This is your bot user OAuth access token. Copy that. Inside Zabbix, that goes there. It starts with XOXOB hyphen update okay now let's enable it enabled let's go back into it slack now message templates we need to add two of them otherwise you will get an error when triggers occurred that there is no message for the media type we just need to add the two message templates here the first one is for problem add and the other one for problem recovery now the template doesn't actually get used in the message, the message is actually created in the media type script down here. There's a create message function. And there's a bit more of it there. But you actually need to have these message types in there. So that's new in Zabbix 5. So update. Okay, so. Remember, if you leave that bit off, you'll get an error when trying to send to Slack. We can test that. There's quite a lot to fill in here. For channel, it's going to be slash Zabbix. That's the channel I just created in Slack. We need to fill in some more settings here, but just for now, we don't really know what they are. So we can just press test and it'll just tell us. Field event ID is not a number, so event ID, just chuck a number in. Test event and severity needs to be 0 to 5 and severity just put a 1 event update status must be 0 or 1 down there event value 0 or 1 and just chuck a number test trigger id is not a number down there test zabbix url must contain a schema just uh, anything you like 
I'm just putting in my real Zabbix URL. Test. Slack notification failed, not in channel. Okay, go back to Slack. So in your Zabbix channel down here, add an app down there. Select Zabbix alerts. Okay, joined. Now back into Zabbix and test that again. There we go. Media type tests successful. And that's our test message. Didn't change any of the values of the macros, so we're just getting that. Now to test a proper notification. Okay. Okay, and before we do that, we need to either create a macro for Zabbix URL or just hard code that URL. Let's create a global macro for that. So general macros. Let's add a global macro for that. And the value for me will be that slash Zabbix slash. That's my Zabbix URL. Yours will be different. So update. Okay, that's done. Okay, next let's add the Slack message type to our user. So administration users admin media. I already have the email type. I'm going to add Slack send to will be the channel that I created called Zabbix. And I only want to get disaster messages. Add. Okay, so I'm going to get emails and Slack messages now. Update. Configuration actions. This makes sure this report problems to Zabbix administrators and trigger actions is enabled. All right, monitoring problems. Okay, so let's create a problem now. I'm going to switch off my host here. Power off the machine. And once Zabbix becomes aware of that, we should see an alert here in Slack and also in Zabbix. Okay, so there's the Slack alert. I actually just got a message on my mobile phone as well because I have Slack installed on it. And there's the alert in Zabbix. Okay, so it says that there's got the red line there indicating problem Zabbix agent not available with host information. We can open this in Zabbix because I set the Zabbix URL and that's the event details here. Shows me some information from Slack with the message link there. I can actually visit Slack directly using that link. The channel name being Zabbix, the channel ID. In the Zabbix problems view here, if I press problem, I actually get this link down here, open in Slack, Zabbix, plus the same information there. So open in Slack if you ever needed to. Very good, it just takes us straight to the problem alert. And now let's just fix this problem by switching the computer back on. Okay, so that's back on now. Now this original notification in Slack will update. There we go, so it's green. So it's the original notification, it's just been updated or replaced with a new one. Okay, and green. Now when we added the Slack media type, down here, Slack mode says alarm. Alarm will send the problem, and when the problem is resolved, it will update the original message. That's why we see this as green, with OK in the original problem no longer exists in the list. The other option you have here is to use event. Now, event will not replace the problem message with the resolved message. It will just print the resolved message in order. So it depends on whether you want the original problem to be updated as okay or whether you want to keep the old problem message as well okay i'm going to keep it as alarm which is the default cancel that okay and to see what that looks like on the mobile phone here you've got a notification on the screen zabbix alerts bot problem zabbix agent you can click it and you can actually go into the slack app and it's the same thing Zabbix alerts, okay, Zabbix agent not available, and you can even press the links and visit Zabbix on the mobile phone. That's because we set the Zabbix URL macro. 
And there we go, it's the problem information there. That's setting up Slack alerts in Zabbix. Excellent. 